A bright day everyone. Peace be with you. How are you? I hope you are all well. Let's have a recap first of our lesson 1.4. The human person is essentially the unity of mind, body, and spirit. We learned that the body has a unique value and dignity. It directs not only to the world, but also to God. We learned that the body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. The soul gives life to the body, and the spirit is the one of us that never dies. Do you know that human beings are the only ones who have the ability to make decisions in different opportunities for the future? This will help us in our objective for today, to explain the person as historical being and to point out that everyone is a pilgrim in this world. Our Benedictine value is still prayer, but I hope at this time you have already learned the value and importance of prayer. Our Benedictine sub-value is decisiveness or kausayan sa pagpapasya, which is related to our lesson. As Christians, we have to develop decisiveness, an ability to make good choices and firm decisions, surely without any doubt, as we learn from our past experiences and mistakes. Let us first learn what historical being means. It means that we humans learn from the past as we build our future. Wrong decisions make us face the consequences and regret it later. So if we want to make the right decisions and good decisions, we have to be closer to God, who is omniscient or knowing the source of wisdom and our mighty God. Aside that humans, as is our historical beings, we are also pilgrims. What does it mean? Mr. Webster says that pilgrims are travelers, people who journey from one place to another. In our club, St. Venice Crusaders, we always make a pilgrimage every year, but now we cannot do it, but we'll just have a virtual tour. We go from one church to another. We call that activity pilgrimage. The entirety of our life is a pilgrimage. As Christians, we are a pilgrim people. We are always journeying towards a sacred place, which is our heavenly home. Every traveler needs a map or a guide. In our Christian journey, the Holy Spirit is our guide. Our map is the Word of God. In order to make the most of our journey, we must plan well. So we need the Bible as our map and the Eucharist as our food and the sustenance that we need. This lesson is teaching us that every person is a pilgrim and historical beings. We are historical realities and pilgrims on the way, who gradually through time would become our true selves. In exercising true freedom and choosing not to do what is good, we become our true selves. For instance, let's take the example of Daniel in the Bible. God was the central aspect of Daniel's life. We can find out in the sixth chapter of Daniel that part of the daily routine of Daniel was to kneel towards Jerusalem from his window and to pray to God three times a day. This became the reason why he was thrown to the lion's den. For there was nothing more important for Daniel but God. Everything in Daniel's life revolved around God. And we should learn this lesson from Daniel. For St. Paul in the Bible taught us in Romans chapter 15, verse 4, that everything that was written in the past was written to teach us, just like in the story of Daniel. Through the endurance taught in the scripture and the encouragement they provide, we might have hope, like in the many stories or accounts we can find in the Bible. So what lesson can we learn from the story of Daniel? Sad to say, many of Christians nowadays, young or old, they would put God along with sports, academics, or work. They would only remember to pray before a meal, before an exam, before a job, or to religion class. But this wasn't the case with Daniel, nor should be the case for us. God should be the fundamental and most important part of our lives. To wrap this up, 
So the Bible was written to give us wisdom and hope in this life. As historical beings and pilgrims on the way, we must use these faith stories to encourage or build our faith, hope, and love. These three theological virtues, which we are going to learn more in the next lessons. But your takeaway in this lesson, you are able to realize that our life is a task, a new task every day towards a better tomorrow. We must realize that as historical beings, there is a bright horizon waiting to be built as we learn from history of past decisions and experiences. And as pilgrims on the way, we have to be closer to God, who is the source of wisdom, an all-knowing and always present God. Have a nice day, everyone. God bless you all.